hello everyone i'm back with another video and today is going to be a little bit of a different video today i'm going to try to wax my own eyebrows with the nad wax strips and um i just well i yeah um i got my eyebrows done about two weeks ago and they're already looking crazy but uh let me show you guys and i i actually got it from amazon here they are the nads eyebrow wax strips and it says with bonus skin shield powder and this is going to be my very first time like i said and um i'm 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 a bit nervous i i actually am nervous but i like to try new things before i start my eyebrows i'm going to give you guys a close shot i am sorry you can see right down there and right down there. That's where I need to get the hair off. So, um, yes, this is the NADS Eyebrow Wax Strips. It says one strip equals one full wax treatment. And it says easy to use stencil brow wax strips. Just cut, peel, and go. Um, and I could also create any shape. But I think I'm going to try to um, keep the shape that I got. Great for eyebrows and middle brows. So let me open this up now. So let me, okay, there's everything. You best believe I'm gonna read the instructions because bruh, it says a little thank you card, send us feedback, okay. So here's the NAD Skin Shield Powder. Minimizes pain by adhering to the hair, not skin. Please work, please work. <laughs> Here's the post wax calming oil wipes. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Cause... And then here are the little wax strips themselves. Let me actually grab my scissors. All right, so let me read the instructions. So these are my eyebrows without any product in them and they're looking crazy. So it says, Okay, you guys, so I have read the instructions. So now I'm going to take the wax out. And it says middle brow, eyebrow, eyebrow. The rest just says eyebrow. <laughs> I don't know why I kept reading it. But this is interesting. This is going to be my first time waxing. And uh, let me see, how do I, hold on. So, oh God, the close up. I also have my little spoolie brush. And then at the end, it just has, I'm gonna use this to guide my eyebrows like too, so I could have a shape. But before I start, let me actually um, brush through my brows a bit. I also have my eyebrow scissors, cause I'm gonna need that. So let me, I'm gonna look at my shape again. So now I'm going to be taking the NAD Skin Shield Powder. Um, okay, before I open this. Woo! Came right out. So let me dip my fingers in here. Can you guys see? Uh oh, let me carefully place it down. Um, yes, this is for the little hairs that are growing here, you guys. I'm being real with you guys. Ah. <laughs> uh. oh, I know I'm gonna be in pain because I'm literally pulling my hair out of my skin follicles, but. I'm gonna make sure I don't get it close to where my actual brows are because shoot. I've done that before you guys and it was terrible, I must say. I hope I get used to this, but now I'm going to be taking where it says middle brow. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna cut right on the little 
dotted gray dotted gray lines can i talk god guys i got it out <laughs> um you know what actually i think i feel like i need a bigger section <sighs> okay there it is there's no going back wait how do i Oh, okay, simple, simple. <clears throat> okay, before I do this. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am back now. I'm gonna be pulling downwards. Okay, shit. Okay. Oh God, you guys, one, two, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. I get my brows waxed all the time and I can already see my hair sticking to it. I should be used to this. I just hope I didn't do what I think I did and... No, I don't think I did. I'm 21 years old, I got this one, two, three. That actually didn't hurt you guys. Wow. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, you guys. That honestly was not bad at all. So I'm sorry, you guys, but if you guys want to see it, here is the hair. If you don't want to see it, please skip over it. But it did a very good job. It did an, an amazing job. It wasn't even bad. It was not even bad. And so, yes. And um, you could tell that it really works because I do have some spots where it's bleeding, but that's okay. So now I'm going to start. So my eyebrow lady, she usually starts at the top of my brows. So let me sharpen this more. So I just sharpened my eyebrow pencil just a little bit. And now I'm going to move on to my other eyebrow. <laughs> I was nervous for what? So I'm just going to apply the powder again. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe this part might hurt a bit more, but um, so I took the part that said eyebrow on it, so I just applied it and I already rubbed it, so one, two, oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay. Not bad at all. Sorry guys, <laughs> but there it is. So now I just applied it over here and I'm just going to rub it in. About, it says three to four times, but um, I usually do it a little bit more just to make sure that the wax is really there. Two, three. Oh, that hurt, that one. Okay, that one did hurt. <laughs> Wow, you guys, this stuff is working. It is working. A little bit worried about the bottom part, you guys, because whenever I get this part done at the uh, salon, this is the part that really hurts. So I'm gonna prep it with some of the powder. This might be my new eyebrow routine, you guys. I'm not even joking. Because I usually, I would use a razor or recently I started to use Nair, but my hair, it grows in weird 
after I use the nail, but this might be the way to go. So I'm gonna do the section, um, small section by section. I mean, it says to apply it on, um, on small sections. One, two, oh wait. One, two, three. Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. That's the pain I feel at the nail salon. But you know what? That ripped off so much hair, you guys. <laughs> Look at that, yo. One, two, three. Ah, God, that hurt. Yep. There we go. Okay, you guys, so I finished waxing this part and um, the wax did, I mean, it did a, an amazing job, but um, there's just some parts, some here that I'm just gonna tweeze out, just, just a tiny bit. Uh, not a lot, cause I was just too afraid to go too close to uh, my brow cause I didn't want to mess up this shape, but that's what I'm doing right now. But other than that, I love this stuff. You guys should definitely pick this up if you guys want to save money. And I feel like I should have been doing this ever since quarantine started. But like, I am so late to this. Just, I love when my eyebrow tail looks really clean. So that's what I'm just doing right now. If it wasn't for my sister's idea, I probably would have still been going to the nail salon, honestly. But here's the difference. Wax, not wax. Why I go? I feel a lot more comfortable doing this too. Like before I started doing this, I was a bit nervous, but now I think I got it, you guys. So now I'm just going to pull it out a lot of here too, which I really like. Eyebrows our sisters i gotta remember that so again the powder i mean and how did i i think i started up here All right. So. Ooh. I've just applied it to the um, tail section of my eyebrow and I'm just rubbing it in. And I've already done my top brow, but I wanted to show you guys how I do the bottom part because this part is the uh, more trickier one, I feel like. Two, three. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but it did the job. Same routine. One, oh, am I on it? One, two. Ah. So what I'm doing now is that I'm just going back in with my tweezers and I'm just getting out um, just some of the hairs that the wax may have missed, which isn't a lot. I just like that fresh waxed look. Before I use the calming oil, I'm just going to be taking my little eyebrow scissors and I'm just trying to see if I see any um, hairs that are sticking up because my eyebrow lady does this a lot too. And I usually have a lot of those. I just want my eyebrows to look as neat as possible. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the NADS Post Wax Calming Oil Wipe. And it says to use after waxing to calm skin and remove wax residue. <laughs> so I'm just going to be
so this is how my brows look without them being filled in it's going to use my little spoolie they look amazing i'm actually very proud of myself because um like i feel like i didn't over wax them i feel like they, they just look just right and um i'm gonna show you guys uh how much hair i removed it, it doesn't look as gross as it as you guys there might it think. is that's how you know these things work. So now I'm just going to fill my eyebrows in a little bit and just use some concealer just to make my eyebrows pop a little bit more. I'm using the same little uh, spoolie brush um, with the, um, what am I saying? My brows look and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer now the Sun wants to come out but uh, this is how my brows look I just like I said I just filled them in and I put some concealer on and some eyeliner and just some lip gloss but you guys you have to get this the NADS eyebrow wax and it comes with six strips which is very good because um they give you a lot and it, it, it can last you for quite some time. My sister gave me the great idea to, she was like, you know what, why don't you just wax your own eyebrows? And I was like, you know what, that sounds like a great idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will definitely stay consistent with you guys. And I definitely want to really thank you guys for checking out my clothing haul. Really appreciate it a lot, you guys. And like I said, if you guys wanna drop your YouTube channel down in the comments, feel free to, and I will definitely check them out and subscribe back to you guys. But I hope everyone stays safe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.